If I told my 10 year old self that I'm about to ride 10,000 kilometers through 20 countries in 21 days, I'd laugh. I'd say, not me. Laughter has always been my self-medication and believing in myself is something I've always struggled with. Until I started riding motorcycles. Riding has allowed me to express myself in ways you can't imagine. Riding truly is my therapy. It offers me a sense of freedom and escape. But most of all, it gives me hope, adventure, wanderlust. It allows me to see others and see their battles. I see you and I see that I'm not alone. My journey in life so far hasn't been easy. When I was just 10, my parents split, leaving me not to see my mom for over 10 years. And now that I do speak to my mom, my dad won't speak to me. It's a vicious cycle that no child deserves. And then alongside this, there is life and life can be hard. Work, friends, money, there's a battle for all of us. Everyone has their battles and everyone has or will face a self-crisis. A feeling that you're not good enough. But trust me when I tell you, you're not alone. There's always someone to talk to. You are good enough. That's why I'm riding solo from London to Istanbul. I want to raise awareness for a charity close to my heart. Mental health motorcycles. They've been there for me in my darkest times. I want to open up stigmas and show that even the most beautiful journeys have their hard days. And riding to Turkey will be my furthest venture yet. So join me on this adventure as we explore the beauty of the road and the cultures of each country, but also delve into the depths of our own minds. How far can we really go alone if we put our minds to it? Let's find out. Good morning. Today I'm in Dover and tomorrow I will be in Switzerland. The next day I'll be in Italy and then Croatia and then Slovenia. Maybe Slovenia then Croatia and then uh, who knows. The rest will be a mystery but I'm trying to get to Istanbul on my bike which has done a lot of miles now. So I think it's going to be hard for her but we'll be doing it. As usual I'm late for the ferry and I've got no petrol. So it's a choice of board the ferry and don't be late or get petrol and risk missing the ferry. Which one do you choose? I stayed last night in this hotel called the St. Albans Guest House. And it's got these um, wall anchors for your bike if you brought a chain, which I did. I always take a chain and I just look. My bedroom was up there so I could look down at my bike and I didn't have to worry. Okay, got some nice new gloves from uh, Hells. Match my bike. All right, I think that's everything. I think I'm good to go, I'm just gonna go. Got my phone, got my passport. Here we are. You remember when I did this? a few years ago for the first time in 2019 and I got lost. I'm about to do it again. <laughs> it's just so confusing. There's no signs of bike and I never knew whether to filter or not. Like that was a big thing. Hi. Passport? Yeah. Yay. Thanks. See ya. All right. We made it. Next up. Ticket, I think. Okay, DFDS, let's go. I want to go on this side because it's less. No, that's Irish ferries. Okay, DFDS it is. <laughs> I just didn't want to be near the lorry. I'm scared. Ah! <laughs> Morning. Thank you. Now it's like, where do I put all this stuff? I'm just gonna do that thing where I just sit on it. Thank you! <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> oh god, where do I go? I didn't even say what lane! Flashback. Lane. Oh god, I don't know what lane. Oh my god. I'm gonna go with one. I'm gonna go 149. I'm just gonna hold it. <laughs> one, wait, 149? Was it? Yes. One. F oh my god, why is there no one else there? I'm just gonna board this one and like hope for the best. I think this is my ferry, who knows? We'll get on it and we'll see where we are. I think this is me, sorry I scrunched it up. <laughs> when no 
Thank you. Ready to follow this back up top. Thank you. See ya. Alrighty. So many of you say that you're scared of getting the ferry because of this bit here, but it's not actually that steep. I mean, it is steep, but it's not that steep. If you stop here and there's a queue and you try and start on that, it might be difficult. That was the worst pep talk ever, but it's not that bad. I also had a lot of you ask why I choose to get the ferry rather than the train, because the train is, uh, is quicker. Well, there's two reasons, right? One, it doesn't feel like an adventure when you're underground just being like shifted in a cargo train. Ooh, we get private entrance, I think. Am I meant to be following him? I actually don't know. Thank you. Ah, VIP entry. <laughs> Gives me very red dwarf vibes. Thank you. I don't know why everyone's staring at me. It's just a very normal looking bike. Where do I go now? Which way? <laughs> I'm walking like the wrong direction. I'm like, I don't know if anyone actually watches One Piece, but like, I'm literally like Zoro. Okay, so this is ferry. And as I was saying, Two reasons why I like getting the ferry over the train. One, because it doesn't feel like an adventure when you're on the train. The ferry, like, you're on a boat, man. And it reminds me of like One Piece, like if I was part of his crew. And number two, the train is more expensive than the ferry. The ferry, this is like, you can get it for like 70 pounds if you're looking in advance. Gotta put this sticker on. I don't know where I'm gonna fit it. Um. <laughs> oh my god, it's like covering up my plate. I guess, uh, uh, UK? Nope, that is not gonna work. Stick it to that maybe? Which definitely isn't where it's supposed to go, but at least I've got it. Quick shout out to my friend who makes these cool little keyring designs. He's got a company called Flux Co. And essentially it's designed to keep hold of your gloves and that clips onto your belt. And it's uh, really useful, especially when you're on the ferry. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna chop my fingers off. There we go. Is that done it? I'm, tight I'm tightening it. <laughs> oh my God. There's only like a few things that you can do. So like, oh, oh my God. Did I do it? Did I break it? Oh, yay! <laughs> I did it! Why we worked it out? Let's go. Yeet. <laughs> Do these come in pink? So, all right, let's put that up there. Nice and neat. We've got to get petrol. Eurotunnel petrol station. One thing you need to know when you come to France, it's very important. Stay to the right. If you go on the left, you're going to die. Uh. <laughs> Roundabouts are backwards here. Stay to the right, stay to the right, stay to the right. I need to get that tattooed on my hand, even though I wouldn't be able to see it under my gloves. I just need a glove that says stay to the right. Found petrol. Okay, so French petrol, you've got to pay up front. <laughs> uh, refuse? Oh, did it work? Let's see, I don't know. Oh, oops. Oh no. <laughs> It's not working. Taking money from me, but not working. Oh. Well, that was a nightmare. I thought the minimum amount on your card to get petrol was 100 euro, but actually it's now 150 euro. And I didn't realize that until like the third go. So the machine took like 300 euro from me and then it took 150 euro at the end to get the final amount. I'm gonna wait until all that comes back through now. Oh, <laughs> I was about to go to the left again there, that would have been bad. So yeah, aim today is to get as close to the Alps as 
I can because tomorrow I want to get to the Dolomites so I'd rather just use this as a uh, skipping France day essentially. I want to get further away as quick as possible because I've got the time off to do it right now. I won't have this again for the rest of the year. France is easily done in a weekend. Istanbul is not. Oh my god, I'm on the wrong side of the road! I don't really know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm doing my CBT, so... This is the first toll booth of the trip. Let's see how much it's going to cost today. Oh, <laughs> went too far. So I literally got this pocket on my Krieger so I could put things like this in there. Because in the last trip that I did, I was just like shoving these tickets into my bra. <laughs> Just pulled into this, uh, it's like a little French, like, I don't know, they have parks on the motorway? They have parks, but they have petrol stations and toilets and everything. Some of the parks don't have petrol stations, some of them are just like, uh, literally just like stretchy leg sports. So I've done about uh, 100 miles so far. Some nice bikes. Sure, it'll be fine here. Just met a really nice sort of group of bikers. Uh, I'm going to uh, Istanbul. Yeah. And this is this okay? It's okay. Oh, it's at the pink edition. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were riding back to Belgium. They'd been down in Spain. We were talking a lot about bike gear. I'm riding through so many different countries. I have no idea what to put on. I showed them my heated body warmer and they'd never seen it. I've still got a long way to go. I've, I've got 74 miles left on this road and then probably about 300, 400 miles left in total. Let's see how much this is going to cost. So, great time to stop because I dropped my hair by accident. <laughs> I didn't tie it on. <laughs> I felt it flapping and I was like, no, no, don't lose the hat. 15 euro, pretty standard to be fair. No idea where I am, somewhere a third of the way through France, if that. The 28 miles on this road and then we swap for another motorway. I wish I could really, this would be like a six spot to wheelie. All right, another ticket machine. Oy. Oh, I went a bit too far. Okay, that's what side stands are for. All right. So, we are in Rem and we are on another toll road for probably, I'd say, another 200 miles. You can see the landscape is opening up a lot more and it's a lot prettier. Getting a few more views in. We have green fields! I just stopped for more petrol. That is the third fill-up of the day. This one costs 18 euro. Bonjour. Uh, on? Merci. Au revoir. All right. Oh my god, the amount of dead bugs on my visor is disgusting. Probably clean it, to be fair. <laughs> I just got so used to them all being there that I started just knowing the gaps to look through. And then, you know when you put your visor up and then when you put it back down, you realize how bad it is. <laughs> just had to pay another toll. That was uh, another 11 euro. Just having a quick stretch of the legs. What am I paying for? It just says four euro seventy. Maybe it's just a set fee. Usually you get a ticket and then you pay it at the other side. Anyway, I don't care. Just want to get there now. Time's getting on. It's now four thirty p.m. in France. Oh, I came the wrong way. Oh wow! Look, loads of bikers. Green one. Oh shit! Thank you. Alright, so I made friends with the guys that pulled into the petrol station and they said I could ride with them for a bit so I don't fall asleep. Uh, 20 kilometers with these guys sounds pretty fun. Five euro sixty. Alright, where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> I don't know. How, I don't know how far out my panties are sticking. So made it to Sashim, Sashayam, Sashim. Just gotta go to the actual hotel now. Such beautiful houses, look at these. 
I love the French shutters on windows in France. This does not look like a road. That's not a hotel, but it does have a motorcycle on it, which is pretty cool. Daffy Motor. This is it, the Golden Tulip. I was good to know there's a bike garage outside. To the roundabout, then your destination will be on the right. This looks pretty nice. Wondering where it's going to be the best place. Probably behind that bush. Camouflage. I made it. Yay. Just realised there's like a bus of people coming in. <laughs> I want to pay and get in before they do.